Hi guys, I'm, I've got a lot of free time today. So, for this tutorial, I'm just going to do a quick run through of what the fuck is FO4 Edit. Because I know a lot of people look at it and just think, holy shit, this is complicated, I have no idea what I'm doing, how to use this tool, um, and there aren't many tutorials around. Uh, unless you spend a lot of time on the program, you won't know what the fuck you're doing. So, I'm going to open up FO4 Edit through uh, Model Organizer 2. Turn that off. I'm not using that. I'm going to test. So, you load it up through your mod organizer, unless you're using Nexus Mod Manager, and then you do that separately. Um, oh, why did it open up on the wrong screen? Uh, can I move it? Yeah, okay. So, what'll happen is. Oh, frick, it's on the wrong screen. Well, this will pop up anyway, and it'll tell you what ESLs, ESPs you want to actually load. It's very simple. So, I only want to open one thing. So, if I wanted to, to say, okay, so say I want to open up my my M4, where the hell that is, there it is. You'll notice when you click on it, anything that is a master to that gun will also appear. So, I've taken influences, yeah. So, so yeah. See so Fallout 4 and DLC Coast, which is the Far Harbor this, uh, expansion pack, are acquired for my mod. And at the moment, I'm using these for animations, M4, and AR-15 for parts. Because I'm trying to cut corners because I'm lazy. Anyway, so if I load this, the others will be loaded in the background as well because they're required. So, and then you'll see the background. This is normally the background of that window. There's some other screen for some damn reason. So then you'll see all this stuff happening on the right-hand side. And it's done. Cool. It's loaded. So, F4 Edit is split into two sides. The left side is your ESP and all the entries within it. The right is how it is interpreted, right? So say you go to the header of your of an ESP, you'll see that, and then this will tell you this will be opened up on the right hand side, tell you details. So if you wanted to change it to between an ESL or a, uh, ESP, you could do this here, on the top right hand side. Mine's always been an ESL, so I didn't change anything there, and it'll show you the masters. If I do clear masters, will it change anything? Not really. Cool. That's fine. So, I should really thought this through because what do you actually want to see? So, for armors, there's the armor add-on, armor, maybe a keyword, and the uh, and the constructible. For weapons, it's like a million. There's loads of them. In another tutorial, I showed you how to make an ESL. Um, things that that will be the first person. Things that will place on the armor. So if you're going to go to a weapon, the weapon will be in the weapon. Funny enough, and you will see all the entries. So if you wanted to change, a, if you want to change thing about a weapon, I'd go here. Um, if you wanted to change animations. That's the animation keyword. So say if we'll say currently all of these all of these mods use the, the animations from RU556. But say if the M4A1 here had its own keyword, and I went into the weapon for the M4A1 here, this would be different. And this is also how you do an animation swap. You do right click onto your on the ESP that you want to put the animations on. You'd add a master and then you'd add the master of the mod with the animations you want to put it on. And then you would go into the weapon, and because you've added it as a master, all the entries in that previous ESP will also be accessible in the current ESP. So I would go, this is how I get the RU556 keyword, which is, thank you, which is actually from that mod, not from my mod, because if you go to key, Oh, that's my phone, I think. And if you go into the keyword, there is no animation file for RU556 because there isn't one. It's just how it is. How it is. If you go to the bottom of this page, you'll see the ammo type, speed, reload speed, min. You keep these the same no matter what. No matter what. Uh, the damage. The action point cost for your AP, 
So if you wanted to change an ammo for a gun, you change the ammo there, and you change the ammo there. That's just so that when you get NPCs who have your gun, they'll have the ammo for the gun as well. So if I wanted to change, so that's 5.56 five, is assault rifle round, and then that is the levels listing for NPCs getting the ammo, to put it simple, simply. To put it simple, if you go to the middle bit, all the keywords that apply to the gun initially, not regardless of what attachments are on it, it'll always have these ones on it. So you got material files, you have an ammunition if you want to change it to say, I don't know, if you wanted to change it to foot to five millimeter or seven point six two, you can do it there. And then this section here will show you what is the base attachments on the gun. So when you make it or get it by default, these will be the by default attachments on it, and you'll have to yeah, that's what that's the base from which you can change. Um, attachments on a weapon. There's three components. There is the object modification, which is the actual changes of the gun. So say we'll go to uh, this vertical grip here. You'll have, within the object modification is where you put the mesh. So the mesh will be in the model. So you reference it where it is in the folders. You've got the name, which you can change, um, and the various keywords, properties, that you can change onto the gun to change how accurate the attachment that makes your gun or the animation the keywords for changing the animations if that certain attachment attachment is plugged in. And this little keyword here is very important. All your object modifications for your gun should have this attachment, uh, this keyword, and specifically a unique keyword to your gun. Otherwise every gun will have it and that's just annoying and people it's just you don't you don't want that no. So yeah, back to what I was saying, object modification is one of the three things you need for your attachments. The misc item is another thing which is optional, and the constructible object, which is essential, because that is what determines how it's built at the when you build it at a chem lab or wherever. So, oh, sorry, at the weapons, weapons, weapon bench. Yeah, that's a good one. So, okay, a good example is the Embus iron sights. You've got what re what's required to make it and then once you have those you can build it and it will create the object modification so this links to the object modification in here for well, well this is messy as fuck but wherever in oh there it is boom so this is linked referenced by it's on default on the default uh, setup on the weapon page earlier I saw I showed you and the constructible which points to this and then within the object modification, you'll have a link to the MISC, MISC mod or loose mod. This MISC mod is pointing to the MISC item here, which is just this. Which is just saying, if you go to a workbench and you change it from the MBUS, instead of an MBUS iron sights, you want to put like a Night Force sight scope on it. By changing it, you'll get this MBUS as a loose mod in your inventory. So, which means you can switch back to it in the future rather than having to build it again and spending all that constructed, uh, all the construction costs to make it. Obviously, once you think about it, there are some items on a weapon that don't require this because you don't use anything to make them. An example would be um, damage modifiers, for example, wherever the hell they are in this massive craziness. Uh, Oh wait, <laughs> exactly, they wouldn't be here because you don't need to make them. I'm an idiot. So, there. Misc mod, modifications. Obviously, that details the actual attachment. The misc mod is just to have it rebuilt again if you have it at the weapon bench. And the constructible object determines how you build it in the beginning and what is made. Oh, that's, that's wrong. That shouldn't be wrong. What? Well, clearly, oh, I, I deleted them on my gun. The up mod, that's why. So ignore, ignore that. There. So, the requirements. What the frick? Oh, yeah, I deleted these two. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I did a lot of this presentation. There. Okay, there. That uh, points to the con mod. Sorry, to the object modification, which is the actual meat of your attachment. Because it'll have all the information regarding 
how, for example, for so sites, how much zoom you'll have, the offsets, which is the most annoying thing about making scopes, because you have to adjust. So say, say if center of your screen's there, if you go into ADS and it's there, you're like, I've got to adjust it. So I've got to adjust the Y, and that by making the Y, the X, sorry, higher, you'll bring it down if it's inverse. It's camera stuff. I don't know. This is a terrible tutorial, by the way. I'm aware of it. Ah, uh, it's not lost on me. Um, and you can do other things like remap nodes, which is important for different barrels, because you say if you want to move the front sight, that's, that's what that does. Um, keywords so you can get certain bonuses in game if they're tied to it, for example, and to get scopes and quick scoping. Them. That stuff. Oh yeah, okay. Good, a good thing to just mention while I'm at it is attach points. So, where's my receiver? Receiver. Okay. So my guns are weird because I've changed. I split the receivers to being uh, aesthetic and the actual receiver. So I've got to find where I put the damn things. Uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? This is a, I shouldn't have used mine. Mine's like messy as hell. I could just, you know, do that. Awesome. There, that's an actual receiver. So, the main part of the gun, the receiver, has all the keywords on the right-hand side for what attaches to it. So you'll have your barrel, your pistol grips, your magazines, your scopes, um, aesthetic stickers, for example, uh, and anything you want to do there. That has to be on the other attachment. So say we'll do pistol grips. On the receiver, you have your pistol grip. On your pistol grip, you will have... Where's the grip? Where are the pistol grips? Where are they? There. You'll have attach point there. And that point, you'll be able to build it at the chem section. If you don't set your attach points, in, well, these attach points, you just won't see it. And it's frustrating to, to work that back. Um... But yeah, FL4 edit is really good because, as you saw earlier, it was really quick to open up. Um, and you can do so many things with it. You can tweak so many different elements to your gun. Uh, so it's better than using Creation Kit, just saying. So if you're on that field, if you're on you know, that, that team, you're wrong. The only good thing about Creation Kit when making weapons is that you get to see them in real time when you're positioning the meshes. But you can work around that and lift scope pretty easily, so it's not that big a difference um, when making mods. But, uh, yeah, I need to do this still. Took that because it's really good, but I can edit it from mine. Ooh. But yeah, uh, for, uh, this is probably a shit, really bad tutorial. I hope it helps. But and then after you save, um, so you can, I'm not going to save because I didn't do anything. I'm not sure why that's low, but just in case, I'm not going to save. But yeah, hopefully that helps. <laughs> Yeah.